Hey guys, Ariel Javier with the Watch With Us channel. So today I am bringing you the Undone Base Camp. We're gonna knock this review in under five minutes. Hope you enjoy it. So Undone, of course, is a company that has been customizing watches um, for about five years or so. Of course, they started off with their Aqua. A lot of people got turned on to, to the Undone brand with the Aqua because you can add anything that your imagination could think of, they could do it. So today I am bringing you, I shouldn't say their latest because actually uh, today I'm filming the video and two days ago they actually launched an aviator watch. But up until two days ago, this was their latest. It's called the Undone Base Camp. It's based on an Explorer's watch, if you will. And we're gonna get right to it. The case is, is pretty standard. It's kind of fabric-esque, if you will, cardboard. It's gonna come with their instruction manual. Let me show it to you here. Nothing fancy, it's printed on uh, just a piece of paper. So the movement on it, it's gonna be an NH35. Japanese movement, we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna get right to the base camp. So I had already taken the plastic off because when I started to do the video, I realized that the, uh, the head of the watch was heavily wrapped in plastic and I wasn't gonna be able to rotate the bezel at all. So I did take it off, it's sitting right here, no big deal. So here's the watch. Really nice dimensions on this are gonna be 40 millimeters. The lug to lug is 48. The thickness on it is 15 millimeters and the strap is 20. As far as the bezel, uh, they wanted to, to model it uh, after a, uh, a, a Bakelite bezel and it's bi-directional as you can see. The loom on it they say is vintage during the day and it glows really bright at night. I haven't tested it out. Now one of the most striking features about this watch is if you notice the hour hand is the hand that we have grown to uh, of course love on the Steve McQueen the 1655 Rolex Explorer 2 made famous by that watch and so it's very striking very legible and of course they say that orange is the color of safety. Of course, that's uh, something that hunters know pretty well. Nice looking watch, seconds hand is very long, as is the minute hand. The date window is here between the four and five. Now again, this is undone, so everything is customizable. You see the high polished edges. We have a very high dome, which is uh, Lexan. Nice looking watch, but again, since it is customizable, you can get this uh, case in the stainless steel that you see here. You can get it in black, you can get it in gold, yellow gold, or you can also get it in rose gold. There's a lot of things like the strap. That's one of the things I do not like. I don't like this, this NATO, it's, it's super stiff. The rings don't match the case in any which way. So not my favorite, but you can maybe put it on a 20 millimeter ISO frame. I think that would look uh, really nice. But again, everything's customizable. If you want something on the back, which let's take this off. Excuse me guys, while I whip this out. So there's that NH35. It's a see-through case back. And if you want something etched on the glass, they can do that as well. As far as the crown, it is a screw down crown, not, not loving the, the shape of it. It's kind of a hexagonal, if you will. But overall, a nice watch for $295. So under 300 bucks, you can have a watch that's uh, super customizable, 42 hour power reserve, and just, just a cool piece. Again, uh, you can, Find more information about this watch at www.undone.undone.com. Sorry about that, guys. And check out their other, uh, their other products. The Aqua is phenomenal. I highly recommend that watch, but if you're looking for something that has uh, that tool-esque uh, feel to it, this is a good piece. Now, the biggest drawback, I've already heard it from a few people, but that this watch is only 50 meters uh, water resistance. So um, it's not really built for swimming and doing all sorts of things. Because uh, remember, it has little to do with the uh, the water resistance as it does with whenever you're uh, splashing around and, and, and doing your thing as far as the uh, the force that your, your wrist or whatnot 
uh, enter uh, the watch. So that's where the water resistance comes in. But overall, a really nice watch. And again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this particular timepiece, drop them off in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching the Watch With Us channel, and we do hope you subscribe. We'll see you next time.